Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to implement search functionality in your PHP application. The search will be performed server-side with no JavaScript. So, let's get started. Before adding search functionality to our PHP app, let's see how MySQL allows us to search data. Here is a table of users. Now if we want to search for a user named John Doe, we can do it like this. This will return all users with the name John Doe. But there is a catch. To search like this, we need to enter the full name. If we write only John, it won't work. Writing only Doe also doesn't work. But we don't want it. So we will use the MySQL like operator. The like operator in MySQL is used to search for a specified pattern in a column instead of a specific value. For example, if we write the query like this, it will search for all users whose name starts with John. The percent sign here is called a wildcard operator in MySQL. Here is a list of some uses of wildcard operators. Again, this query will search for all users whose name ends with Doe. Using the percent sign on both sides will return any user, with John, in any position of his name. If we type OH and instead of John this will still work. This is perfect for search and we will use this to implement search to our PHP app. I already have a user table and some dummy data in it. First let's display these data in a beautiful table and then implement the searching feature to it.
Now let's add search functionality to it. We'll start by creating a search form. We are using the get method here because we want the search term to get appended to the URL. This is a best practice for a good user experience. As you can see YouTube does it this way too. This allows users to bookmark or share URLs with search parameters. As you can see when we type anything in this input, it gets appended to the URL as a search parameter. Now let's grab this search parameter and display the results according to it. The search value from the parameter will be stored in this variable. Here we are concatenating this part to the SQL query. So, the final query will look something like this. As you can see, our search functionality is working fine. Let's add the search term as the value of the search field so that it doesn't become empty on every search. But for this, we have to define the search term variable outside the if statement. Otherwise, we will get an error when there is no search term. Anyways, that's it for today. See you in the next video.